What's up everyone, today we're covering the latest video drivers including a major update for AMD and their answer to NVIDIA's frame generation. First up is AMD's latest Adrenaline Driver 24.9.1, which debuts the second version of their frame generation technology called Fluid Motion Frames, or AFMF2. Lots of improvements, support, and features come with this driver. New game support includes Frostpunk 2, God of War Ragnarok, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2, and The Sims 4 DirectX 11 update. They've also added Vulcan support to Counter-Strike 2, offering additional responsive gaming options. Last, under Hypertune support, AMD has turned on automatic configuration of AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 with frame generation in the following games, Black Myth Wukong, Creatures of Ava, Frostpunk 2, and God of War Ragnarok. Some issues have also been fixed in a few of these games and some others. Next up is NVIDIA's latest certified drivers, 56590. These debut the NVIDIA app beta, which serves to unify the NVIDIA control panel, GeForce experience, and the RTX experience into one entity. Highlights are driver rollback, G-Sync controls, and not having to switch between two or three apps to control your visuals. New game support includes Throne and Liberty, MechWarrior 5 Clans, and Starship Troopers Extermination. Two notable game fixes are Final Fantasy XV texture flickering and Dying Light 2 game launch crashes. General fixes resolve corruption to Steam Link streaming and monitor panel flicker when frames drop below 60 frames per second. And last, for those of you who are on Intel ARC cards, we have 101 6078 beta drivers. New game supported are Delta Force, Throne and Liberty, and FC25. No other notable additions, but a lot of known issues to scroll through if that's something you're interested in. And that's it for this installment of Video Driver Updates. I'll leave the links in the description below. Please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next driver updates.